today I wanted us to talk about a few specific issues. Actually, let me tell you a story first. A few days ago, I stayed up late, you know, trying to catch up on some studies. We got up, went to the gym, spent 90 minutes, and then headed off to a Jamaican restaurant for lunch. After lunch, the plan was to go to the library and do some studies. I'm not sure exactly what happened between the drive from the restaurant to the parking lot of the library. But I had this overwhelming feeling of uh, melancholy. I tried, I couldn't get out of the car. Yeah, I checked a few text messages, checked a few social media posts, but I was just still there in my car. I couldn't actually motivate myself to get out of the car. I actually needed to, to review six chapters for an exam and then also prepare five modules to teach the following week. So I sat there for a minute. Finally, I actually had to scream and scold myself and really say to myself, <laughs> self, you got to get out of the, you know, I use an expletive, F or BL, depending on which part of the world you're from. You got to get out of the, and, and do what you need to do. Essentially, I had to encourage myself to get out of the car and do what I needed to do that day. And I found, like, I love the story of... Uh, uh, King David in the uh, second uh, Samuel chapter 12 verse 20 to summarize the story his son was sick obviously because of a mistake that he made and he had prayed for the child to be healed and the child was not healed so his servants obviously were afraid to bring him food and tell him that the child died but when they told him he just you know put on his clothes shaved anointed his head and encouraged himself and then moved on I always say, if you want to be a king or you want to be a queen, you must learn to encourage yourself. Because sometimes it is you alone. And most successful people know that, that it is like a solo journey sometimes. So I always say, if you really want to get where you want to get to, you need to learn to encourage yourself. Because only you know what success looks like. It's, an obje it's a subjective matter, not an objective uh, criteria. Your success looks different than my success. That is why it is futile to try and compare yourself to somebody else. It's a big mistake. I, we used to tell when I train people on team dynamics, I say, yes, there's no I in team. But the, for success, you'll find that you cannot spell success without the letter U. Because it is all about you as it relates to getting up there and doing what you need to do to get to where you want to get to. There's nothing wrong with praying like uh, in Psalm 119 verse 28. I love the what's called the contemporary English version, which says, uh, My soul melts from heaviness. Strengthen me according to your word. Of course, this is, uh, the psalm is talking. The New King James Version talks about it. Uh, it phrases it and says, uh, you know, my, my, I'm, I'm heavy. In other words, my soul is like way down. Give me strength. Encourage me. So if to get to where you want to get to this year, learn to encourage yourself. If you need more tips, please go to Amazon.com and look up my book, The Seven Open Secrets of Success. But it's not really about selling my book. I just want to encourage you this week to have a successful week. We're going to listen to one of my daughter's uh, favorite song, which is You Raise Me Up. I like the version by Sailor. Yes, you have all the one by Josh Gordon too, but the one by Sailor is what we're going to listen to the end of the message here. But let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day. Give us the strength to do what we need to do to take a hold of our destiny. We thank you because even when people are not around to encourage us, we know that you're always there and your word reassures us of your strength, that you're putting us the ability to achieve what we need to achieve. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. I love this song. It's a fantastic song. You can sing with me. I'm going to try and make the video, cut it off no more than six minutes. And you can go and listen to it on uh, YouTube. Amen. When I reflect on this song, it seems like it's a secular song, but it's actually a biblical song about you raise me up. You know, our Lord is a fantastic God. He's always there for us. 
He gives us what the world cannot give us. So whenever you're down, always remember that he's there to uphold you and that you can encourage yourself by his grace. When I am down and all my soul so weary When troubles come and my heart is be then I am still and wait here in the silence until you come and sit a while with me. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up. To walk on stormy seas I am strong When I am on your shoulders You raise me up To all that I can be Have a blessed week